Carrie here from Carrie Low Cat, and I have some cute new DIY kids craft today. Um, I actually went ahead and made some really cute um, little headbands for my little girl. So this is one that I made. I just uh, put um, flowers and leaves onto one of these little headbands. Um, so it's going to be a little fall crown for her. And then I saved all of these little flowers that I'll you know, put around like in the um, photo shoot. I think it's kind of dark here. It's getting dark outside, but I wanted to get this video done. Um, the other one that I made, I got this <laughs> this little outfit going. Um, so they sell these little tutus at like the dollar store and they have like pink, yellow, blue. Um, and I just got the blue and then I got, I made this little headband to go with it using blue flowers and leaves. And the little uh, headband part of it, I got at Michael's. And this is one tutu, but I'm actually going to get like two or three to put on her at once for the little photo shoot. And since it's blue, it kind of reminds me, even though it's like flowers, it kind of reminds me of um, winter. So I'll do some kind of winter theme. I don't know, maybe Hanukkah. I'm not really sure yet. Um, but I do, I'm also doing like a beautiful headband for Christmas with her Christmas dress. So I'm excited for that. But anyway, this will be cute for winter, whatever we do. This next one I made is just really simple. Um, I got these, um, I used my 40 off coupon to these really cute silk and I guess that's lace flowers I got at Michael's. And then again, one of those little headbands and I just glued it on. And this little white one's cute. Um, it's nice and big on her so it doesn't hurt her little head. The ones at Target I was buying are really cute, but our Target so dark let me fix it our target um, doesn't get as much variety because I've gone to targets in other cities and there's so many hair bows um, so our target doesn't get like as much variety and so like the ones that I get there are really small on her I think they're for like little babies and so these are this will be nice um, and so the last one that I'm going to share in this video, um, but I'm sure I'll have more because I'm always making something for her, um, is this another one of these little orange bands. And then this, actually, I went to the dollar store and, or I'm sorry, the 99 cent store. It's like all the same, right? <laughs> anyway, I went there and they had like all their Halloween stuff out and they have headbands with like, like horns with like stuff on top. Um, and so there was like, pumpkin horns and so I bought it and I just like ripped the this off one of the little things that sticks out and um, took the wire out you know to make it soft and then I just went ahead and glued that on there and I do believe Michael sells pumpkin patches I saw them there for $8.99 so this is 99 cents so that's much better for me <laughs> I love my deals and then these bands are in clearance right now for $1.47 they're getting rid of all of them the only ones that aren't are the pink ones because October I think is breast cancer awareness month so you have to watch that but anyway those are my beautiful little headbands and I'll have close-up pictures at the end and I'll even have a little instructional video um, but if you I mean it's pretty self-explanatory you just get headbands and flowers, hot glue. <laughs> yeah, but if you do want to see that exactly how I did everything step by step, I'll put that at the end. And thank you guys so much for watching and I appreciate it. And I'm, I'm having a really good time being a mom. Those of you that ask and are interested and I just, I just love you ladies so much. I really appreciate it. And I'll be back again with another crafty video. Okay. Happy um, Tuesday. Have a happy week. Okay, so the very first step to making your own headbands for cheap is to gather your supplies. So just some different things that I got here. First of all, I got this little princess tutu at the 99 cent store. They have this in the kids section. They had pink, they had yellow. I chose the blue. The next thing that you can get at the Dollar Tree or the Dollar Store, and you can also get them on clearance at Michael, are these kind of flowers. So I got some um, these were on clearance and I got some of these little yellow flowers originally $1.99 and I got them at 
I believe 40 or 50 percent off so not too bad got some of these sparkly leaves they have a little bit of glitter on them and then I got this blue color to go with the tutu now the blue outfit that I got so far I've spent about two dollars for my supplies um, and then over here I am making I got these on clearance if you guys watch my haul channel Carrie love cat hauls you can see I hauled these and these are wonderful these are all on clearance right now because they're so soft and um, very gentle for baby's head so I got the blue obviously I don't know if I'm gonna use that blue color for that but I got three orange ones and then I got one blue one and I got one pink one another item that I purchased at Michael's was this Imagine, and I got the um, blue, white, and silver, and I got that blue, I think it's gonna look really pretty with that outfit. And then the white I was gonna make, I got these also with, um, I believe, 40% off and then 20% off of that. So basically everything here is either 99 cent store, dollar store, or like super low clearance. <laughs> And um, I'm going to put the white on there. And then the last thing I got, they have these fun Halloween headbands at the 99 cent store. Now this is like plastic in here and that would be too hard for baby's head. But what I like are these little, um, sorry, pumpkin embellishments. And these are um, really, really cute. And these would be like two, three, four dollars, four ninety nine, something like that at the bigger stores. So I sometimes get headbands from there and cut them up. Okay, so let me show you how I'm gonna make the first headband. <laughs> My cat's meowing over there. Okay, so the next step is that you just wanna cut apart your flowers. So you see my stems over there and I just use those scissors to kind of start cutting these off. I actually discovered that it's better to just go ahead and pull them off because then they're, oh, that's not a good one, but see how this one, there's no wire in there. So it won't, it definitely won't hurt um, baby's head when you glue it on. And I went ahead and cut the little things off of that. And I went ahead and cut one of the pumpkins off the headband. Um, and that one's just was glued on, so that shouldn't hurt her. And now I'm gonna go ahead and glue these different flowers, hot glue them onto the little headband. Hey ladies, okay, so the last step is to take your little flowers and leaves and whatnot and glue them on the plant on the band. Very, very simple. So for this one, I'm just gonna show you all the ones I made. I just glued those leaves all around, and then once I was done with that, I glued the flowers. So I did everything up into the back because you're probably not gonna really see the back. Um, so that's the first one and then I had a couple of extra flowers so when I take a picture of the baby I'll just have these kind of scattered around really look pretty for this one very simple I just went ahead and like I said took that guy off and glued him on and I might use this for something else like I might put it on a onesie or something so it matches um, but very simple, very cute. This one, same principle. I just glued the uh, big flower on this here. Okay. Um, I have a lot extra, as you can see, so I will do something with them later. But the one that I am most excited about, and I'll pull it down here so you can see. This little um, tattoo, or tattoo, tutu, that I got from the 99 cent store. And then I got these items from Michael's, I believe. And I made that little flower crown to go with that. And I was thinking I would put her in a little white onesie or a little light blue onesie, but I might just have her be in a diaper and do this because I think that would be really, really cute. So I'm super excited to um, photograph that. And these little crowns I usually use for her month pictures, you know, like one month, two months. So she's six months now, so for seven months it's going to be um, um, September, almost October, so I'm going to use this one. And then um, 
for Halloween, I'll definitely, you know, for Halloween, we have our Halloween costume, so I probably won't use this, but, and then for um, Thanksgiving, we also have a turkey costume for November, and then in December, she'll have her beautiful Christmas outfit, but then also she'll need some blue, like for Hanukkah and whatnot, and then also, um, this would be really pretty for January because it's kind of like blue, like snow. I don't know. I'll figure something out. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed these and I will talk to you later in the next video. Happy crafting. Bye.